When you pull up to the fuel station, you've got choices to make. First, figure out which pump you need. Then, you've got to pick the right fuel rating for your car. Most cars have a recommended fuel type, but sometimes you might not have access to it. That's when you start wondering. Can you mix premium and regular gas? Or is that asking for trouble? Mixing fuels isn't always a disaster, but it depends on your car. Some engines can handle it just fine, while others might not run as smoothly. Premium gas has a higher octane rating, which helps prevent knocking in high-performance engines. Regular gas, on the other hand, is cheaper, but might not give your engine the protection it needs. In this guide, I'll walk you through what happens when you mix them, the differences between the two, and how to figure out what's best for your car. By the time we're done, you'll know exactly what to do next time you're at the pump. Mixing regular and premium gas isn't ideal, but sometimes you don't have much choice, like during a fuel shortage. Most of the time, switching fuel grades temporarily won't cause any serious issues. Now, if your car is built for premium gas, it needs that higher octane to perform properly. Using a lower octane fuel could lead to engine knocking reduced efficiency and faster wear over time. It might not break your engine right away, but it's definitely not great for it. On the flip side, using premium fuel in a car designed for regular gas won't hurt anything. It just means you'll be spending extra money without really getting any benefit. Back in the day, if you put regular gas in a car that needed premium, you'd hear knocking almost right away. That's because older engines weren't built to handle lower octane fuel, and pre-detonation would cause all sorts of trouble. Nowadays cars are a bit smarter. Modern engines have sensors and software that adjust timing and performance to make the best of whatever fuel is in the tank. If you accidentally use regular gas once, your car might handle it without any noticeable issues. But that doesn't mean you should make a habit of it. Premium engines are designed to run on high-octane fuel for a reason. What happens if you put premium gas in a regular car? Well, let's find out. Some folks think putting premium fuel in a regular car will make it run better, but most of the time it won't make much of a difference. In certain cases, depending on the engine, you might see a slight boost in acceleration or fuel economy, but don't expect anything dramatic. The main thing to know is that premium fuel has a higher octane rating, which helps prevent knocking in high-performance engines. If your car is designed for regular gas, it's already tuned to run efficiently on it, so switching to premium won't magically improve performance. You'll just end up paying more at the pump without getting much in return. That said, using premium fuel in a regular car won't hurt anything, so if you're curious, you can give it a try. Just don't expect any major changes in how your car drives. How does premium differ from regular gas? The biggest difference between fuel types comes down to octane rating. Most gas stations offer three main options. Regular, which is 87 octane, mid-grade, which is 89 octane, and premium, which ranges from 90 to 93 octane. The exact premium rating varies by state. Some start at 90, while others wait until 92. Octane ratings measure how well fuel resists premature detonation under compression. The higher the number, the better the fuel handles pressure before igniting. Most cars run just fine on regular gas, but if your vehicle has a turbocharger or a high-performance engine, it might need premium fuel. These engines have a higher compression ratio and rely on premium's elevated octane to prevent knocking and keep things running smoothly. How do I know which gas my car requires? Pop open the fuel door. There's usually a label inside telling you exactly what to use. If that's missing, grab your owner's manual. The automaker put those recommendations in there for a reason, just like your maintenance schedule. Still can't find it? No worries, you can look it up online. Plenty of drivers have asked the same question, and you might find the answer in a forum or a discussion thread. If you want a straight answer, just call your local dealership. They'll tell you exactly what fuel your car needs. No guesswork involved.